So good afternoon guys. Um, it's a hot day here in southeast Indiana. So I have pulled out my sun oven here. And we are dehydrating herbs today. If you can see in there. There's parsley in there right now. We've got a temperature of almost 100. I just put this out here. Um, so I wanted to talk about it a little bit because everybody always has questions about it. And um, so I bought this sun oven probably a year ago, two years ago, for multiple reasons. One, that way we don't have to cook in the summertime in our house. It's basically like an oven. Two, I can dehydrate in it. Three, if the electric goes out or you know if the grid goes down, something like that crazy, we can go ahead and cook. So I um, watched a video on Doug and Stacy. Many of you know that I love watching Doug and Stacy off grid on YouTube. And she has a sun oven. And so the other day she was on there and she was dehydrating her herbs. And I have a screen that I have out in my shop and I have one in my house that I lay my herbs on. And I keep them out in the air and let them dehydrate that way. But with this, I can dehydrate a lot faster. So these will dehydrate within a couple hours. So all I will do is when you cook in this, and as you can see, it has the sun reflectors on it. When you cook, you are supposed to be directly facing the sun. So with this little thing right here, you will know with the shadow indicator, you will know if you are facing the sun or not. But when you're dehydrating, I don't need it to get up to cooking temperatures. I need it to get up to about right where it is, 100 to 110 to dehydrate these herbs. So I keep it facing away from the sun. I keep my door propped open with the um, closers right there. That way it gets a good flow of air after about an hour. I will come in, I have three racks in there. I will take the bottom rack, put it to the top, put the top to the bottom, or put the top to the middle and the middle to the bottom. However, and then I will just keep checking for the crispiness. And then once, once I get the crispiness, that means there's no water in it. And then I can go ahead and lay it out. And then I can crunch it up and put it away and store it. So we started this little herb garden back here. So we've got basil. We have so much basil right now that um, I have dried out. It's crazy, but I have all this to go ahead and harvest. I went ahead and let it go to seed. We have cinnamon basil, which I have done the same. I have a ton of it um, already dried and it's in its containers to last me till next year, probably the year after. We have parsley, we have dark green and light green parsley. We have chives, we have oregano, we have sage. We started some peppermint, so they're coming in nicely here. We have not had rain in a while, but I tell you what, even without rain, the weeds tend to um, take over. I don't know how weeds can still grow when we're in a drought, but anyways. And then we had some cilantro. We did get some. Here's some more growing, and we will harvest that. And so we have got our basic herbs. We have other herbs in our garden and our raised beds. So we will just keep harvesting off of them also. But this is an all-American sun oven. They are a little pricey, but they are worth it in many ways. So if you have any questions, go ahead and just leave them in the comments below. And I'm going to let the parsley go for a couple hours. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and do some sage and oregano today. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. But that's all you have to do. And see, it will stay. It'll get hotter, but it's staying right about, it's up to 100 now. So it'll stay right about that. So, all right. If you have any questions, let me know. And we will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.